Uh, very excited. I mean, uh, every time the football season come back around, I mean, uh, I just get stoked up and just kind of ready to get going. And just ready to kind of hit somebody on the other team now. What kind of atmosphere do you think it'll be like Sunday, considering that you know there are all, all these fans who are so excited about what we've done? Uh, hopefully, it's a sellout. Uh, hopefully, the fans come and make a lot of noise and um, and get ready to disrupt the other team as much as they can. Do you think your defense is going to surprise some people all the focus is on Baker and O'Donnell? No. Um, I mean, it might surprise the fans, but um, as far as the other team, no. Nah, I mean, uh, 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 everybody knows who we are, and uh, we just got to go out there and just do what we have to do together and uh, to just play as one. In the preseason, we didn't get to see the whole offense together, mm -hmm. Baker, O'Donnell, Jarvis. You've got to see them practice some. What do you think that's going to look like in the finished product? Um... Hopefully touchdowns, man. Um, but no, nah, I mean, um, it's an 11-11 game, and um, we got a lot of good one-on-one -on -one matchups out there, and uh, that's what this league is about, uh, winning one-on-one -on -one matchups. So, I mean, uh, hopefully, our, uh, hopefully our guys can do that. What most excites you about this defense? Uh, just uh, a lot of guys that love, that love getting the football, that love getting sacks, that love executing their jobs, and um, I think it should be fun out there each and every Sunday. Uh, quarterback like Marcus Mariota, what are you kind of keying in on as a defensive back, and what can we expect uh, from the defense for Mariota? Um, I mean, like I said, he's a versatile guy that can throw pass, um, they can do stuff outside of the pocket, they can do a lot of zone read. Um, I mean, I was just uh, the first game, a new offensive coordinator. I mean, you really don't know what to expect. I mean, um, uh, I mean, you just got to go out there and play football. And then a guy like Derrick Henry, he didn't really participate much in training camp. Mm -hmm. um, what, uh, what, do you, what do you see from a guy like him? Big 6'3", 6'4", uh, 240 uh, pound guy, a Heisman Trophy winner. I mean, um, his resume speaks for itself. I mean, uh, he's a hell of a player and uh, just kind of looking forward to playing against him. And then lastly, kind of following off that, any receivers that are coming off the page? Maybe a guy like Corey Davis for the Titans that you guys really got to give extra? Extra coverage too. Uh, I mean, um, I just know our scheme. Um, I mean, uh, I really can't go into too much detail about that, but I mean, uh, we will be ready to go. I mean, uh, we definitely will. You were on those Green Bay teams you were on. You were expected to win and win a lot. Is that different for a player heading into the season when there's these kinds of expectations around a team like this one? Uh, no, nah, I mean, uh, you just got to cross your T's and dot your I's. I mean, um, you just got to know that you're going to get your best effort from everybody uh, each and every week, and uh, you just got to be prepared physically and mentally. Last year, this team was one of the teams that missed a lot of tackles. Are you confident that won't be an issue this year, or at least going into week one? Um, I mean, um, we might miss tackles, I mean, but we got a defense that's going to swarm that's gonna swarm to the ball. So, I mean, um, you might not notice them as much this year. Well, there's so much Go ahead, sir. When there's so much excitement surrounding this team all off season, does that make week one even more important that you guys can prove that it wasn't all just hype? Uh, I mean, obviously we uh, that we want to go out there and win week one, but I mean, um, that's not the Super Bowl, uh, and uh, our ultimate goal is to win the Super Bowl. So I mean, uh, we just got to build each and every week so we can reach our ultimate goal. Hey, Demaris, we watch you go from the sideline. The talent looks very real. What is it like when it's out there and he's out there running around? Yeah, the same, the same that it looked to y'all. I mean, that's, I mean, I mean, the, <laughs> yeah, uh, worth every penny, definitely. Um, I mean, probably the stuff that we really can't really see much. Uh, his run out the catch is, is like really the most impressive stuff that I see about him. I mean, um, how quick he is, how elusive he is, and, um, I think he's faster than what a lot of people give uh, give him credit for. How good do you think your defensive line can be? How, how does that help you? That, I know pass rush and secondary work. It's not exciting. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's very exciting. I mean, uh, to just know that you got got guys like that up front and um, and the guys that we have in the secondary. I mean, um, I'm just looking forward to putting it together each and every week for four or maybe more quarters. I mean, if you want to go off last year, I mean, we had a lot of overtime games, so we might got to
play a little deeper in games. I mean, but uh, hopefully we can put it together each and every week, and um, it should be a lot of fun out there. Do you think the D-line can be, like, in Tampa, that dominant consistently? I think they can be how good at, how good they want to be. I mean, um, I mean, they're a very, very talented group, and um, and as long as we stay healthy across the board, I mean, uh, we're going to be a tough out each and every week. Challenging week one, preparing for a team that you know preseason everything's vanilla. You don't get to see a whole lot on tape. Oh uh, yeah, uh, very very uh, very very challenging. But I mean. Um, <laughs> At the end of the day, uh, we can control what we can control. And uh, I mean, we can try to dictate the game as much as we can by just doing our job. And um, just, and because uh, we know our coaching staff will put us in the best position to make the most plays as possible. And, and uh, we just kind of looking forward to it. Some teams don't always live up to the hype. You know, you hear about a team all off season and then it doesn't quite go this way or the way or the next. Do you feel like this team has everything that it takes? Um, I mean, I just feel like that we know what we have in this locker room, and um, and we're gonna go out there each and every play, and um, and fight as one, and um, and uh, it result Sunday will just let us know if we're good enough or if we lived up to the hype. I mean, uh, I guess we can talk about it next week. You mentioned Derrick Henry, the tight kind of build, build himself as a physical team. Do you feel like the camp that you guys went through under Freddie prepared you for that matchup right out of the gate? Um, we will be ready. Um, I mean, it ain't really much. I mean, I'm just excited to play and um, ready to hit somebody, ready to catch an interception, ready to do a lot of things. I mean, uh, finally healthy again. Uh, our, our team is fairly healthy, so I mean, uh, really looking forward to just playing football. Uh, no, uh, I, uh, I don't think it does. I mean, um, cause at the end of the day, people is going to talk. I mean, whether or not we had these guys or not, I mean, it's the first game of the season. I mean, people are going to talk and I mean, um, I'm just, just glad that, um, we know what we got in this locker room and, um, and we know Sunday at one o'clock there ain't there ain't gonna be too much more talking. So um, I guess we'll have to see on at one o'clock Sunday. Is it nice that people are talking about the Browns though, as opposed to two years ago when it was only sixteen and they were talking about the Browns for all the wrong reasons? Um I mean, I don't even know how to answer that question to be honest with you, because um I mean cause the vibe and the way we carry ourselves in the locker room, I mean, uh, whether or not people are talking good nor bad, uh, we're going to continue to stick together and uh, we're going to continue to get better each and every day and um, to just try to fight for our ultimate goal, and that's to win the Super Bowl. Just a couple more. Derek Henry's their focal point on offense, it seems, and you talked about how physical he is. The fact is, he hasn't played. What do you think their plan B is if they don't get the real Derrick Henry? Plan B. Um, I mean, they got another good back, Lewis. Uh, he is pretty good. Uh, I think he came from New England. Uh, he's a pretty good scat back, a uh, guy out the backfield that can make a lot of plays. Uh, he's He is definitely a matchup problem out the backfield. So, I mean, uh, I'm sure they'll have a mixture of him, too, uh, up in the game plan. Facing him per se, but any part of you want to show, like, hey, I'm, I'm the best safety on the field? Uh, each and every week, I want to go out there and show that I'm dominant and uh, show that I'm one of the best safeties in the game, definitely. But uh, I'll, uh, I would definitely be watching him on Sunday, definitely. I mean, yeah, you like this game? Yeah, yeah, definitely. You say you say you know what you guys have to talk about. What is that? What do you have? I mean, we got guys that've been fighting together throughout camp. I mean, uh, we got guys that since since OTAs has put together a plan and um, we actually believe in that plan and we trust that plan and um, and we and we finally get to go out and show the world what what we've been doing the last two three months I mean um because it's been a lot of talk and I mean I'm tired of hearing the talk I mean I'm ready to play football I mean period and um and the fact that it's finally here I mean I'm I'm definitely stoked happy about it and uh and I hope the fans is ready to go because um, we are just excited as they are.